Hello there, entertainment people. So the entertaining guy is back with a new series called The Business Entertainment. So today's topic is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. How are you, Clubhouse? Because it's Muska, Muska, Muscara business time. So, entertaining guy, it's time to talk about me. The best opportunity to talk about me. What are you talking exactly? You used to come in my dreams, television, TV, OTTTF when I was small. But now you are planning to hijack my YouTube videos? <laughs> Star Wars, Marvel, Fox, Avatar and so much. All of this is me. Nowadays you look at entertainment, everything is mine, 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 mine. Achari, oh really? Then tell me, uh, you own Harry Potter, Transformers, and especially Spider-Man, right? You own, na? Oh, I don't, I don't have, have these things. things. Yeah, yeah, I don't I have. have. Entertaining Entertaining call Bob. 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 Yeah, yeah, the yeah. CEO, CEO of Disney. Disney. I, really I really want to talk to him. Muka, 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 muka. Mousa, mousa, mousa. Now I better get the proposal of getting everything in the entertainment market and I create my first intergalactic entertainment empire. Right, Bob? And I must get those stuff. Bye. So as uh, after the intro, you guys know we are going to talk about how can Disney establish dominance over the whole entertainment area. So now let's talk about the annual reports of the past year, I mean 2020 of Disney. So that we can get to know the part where Disney is trying right now. So let's look at the pictures. So this is the report which is uh, telling the revenues from where did all the revenues come. So it shows for 2020. And it compares with 2019 also. So we have for media networks, it was a uh, really like 11% change profit, 11% profit. And as total yield, it was 14%. For quarterly, it was 11. Parks and all, it was 61% loss. Right, 61% loss. Can you guys imagine? And after seeing the revenues also, we can see like Disney is very very dependent on the parks. And the studio entertainment was 52% loss again. And then we had direct to consumer and international rights, it was 41% more. Yeah. And eliminations were count like there was so much of elimination and cost cutting and all. So there was total revenue was 23% of loss. Means Disney has been really been impacted by the COVID-19. And if we look at the other incomes like media networks, it was like 5%. Profit only, that's nice. Park and experience, all the merchandise and all stuff. It was off. Like it doesn't count. Oh yeah, it doesn't count because, because you know what happened really. And then we have the 61% loss in the studio entertainment. And then we have die consumer as uh, same, 23%. That's it. And in total, 82% loss from segments operating incomes. Can you imagine? see how much loss the company in which 2019 was going so high but has like still got the bottom line in 2020 but the question remains same can they now uh, have dominance plan ready so in covid disney's business really didn't work as we can see in the above graph but let's look at the media networks which will help us to create the power for the dominance and so media networks let's start by broadcasting and cable networks so which had a 10 percent uh, like uh, 11 percent for cable networks uh, profit and 10 percent for broadcasting 10 percent more so in total 11 percent more comes for, uh, in the for say, revenue from this tv cable networks and all remember i'm just talking about the quarter end if you want me to talk about the year end then i can also talk about that so in total there was a 14 percent change in, by the year Okay, so let's come to segment operating income just like that so we can ignore this. So now let's come to now the online platforms like the new release Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, I know it's been more than a year, still it's new. So Disney Plus 
change it hasn't been counted yet because in 2019 when the last sports came it was it wasn't has been launched it had been launched so that's why the reports hadn't changed but if we look at spn espn plus then it's a hundred percent profit right hundred percent profit and total hulu also like 21 percent 41 percent like all those live tv and so in total there's a 28 percent profit and so it, by seeing the disney also like there were so many million of users then we can say like it was a nice nice or very blockbuster streaming so now disney is being more focused on its streaming after as we saw in our investor day then we can say streaming is the key for dominance okay so after reports when the stock have been looked like now if we look at the stocks we can see again the loss which disney has to bear during the covid 19 but but because all of this came not because of student entertainment everything is now getting put on streaming but the main loss came because of uh, parks if they put stuff on disney plus the, the merchandise will still be sold the collectors everyone would buy but the main problem is disney parks mm. i can say 70 to 80 percent of disney's income is dependent on the parks and the merchandise merchandise isn't being sold because uh, movies aren't been releasing and parks aren't open it only opened in the last quarter of 2020 and whereas disneyland is still uh, not been opened only disney world has been open so that's why the heavy loss in the stocks and in all the whole company's uh, annual report can be seen and now i would like to present my point that disney can have can establish dominance over the entertainment field Yes, I said they can have they can establish dominance, but then we must look at the acquisitions made by Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars, and Fox. So the Fox acquisition came with so many character rights, so much important stuff. So let's start from Titanic. We know uh, from Titanic to How I Met Your Mother to Avatar to all the X Men rights, and they have so much. Even there are some studios which are. Uh, in Disney's field, like uh, 20th Century Fox and then Fox Searchlight, and so much more. Then we go to the other side, and we have National Geographic channels and all. That's how we can see National Geographic channels on Disney Plus if you guys look at it. And then we have so much, then we have so many Oscar winning movies, and most importantly, Disney now owns Fox's 30% stake in Hulu. It already owned 30% before the Fox merger. So now in total they own 60%, making it the majority owner. The remaining 40% is held in a 30 by 10 split by NBC, Universal and Warner Media. And true, we still don't know whether Disney will try to buy it up. Now the bunch or bunch or set hundreds of characters of x-men universe villains and all uh, all universe of marvel by all universe of marvel i mean like the characters which were stolen by marvel are come back or are back in the parallel universe yes but parallel universe i mean the multiverse which marvel will create and we can see the appearances of even peters in uh, wandavision Wandavision and now and at last much much more like Hotstar all star serials which are in India the Hotstar has been proven to be a good income source for Disney because Disney didn't have to release Disney Plus in India they already had millions of subscribers now Disney Plus India has IPL star serials Disney Plus content and so much more just because Disney decided to make their Disney Plus included in Disney Hotstar Star, hot star only before the merger. Now they have they own hot star, all the Fox streaming services, and all the Fox studios in India of Star Plus, uh, all the star channels in India just because of this merger. Merger, Mausa, Mausa stuff is going so good. I'm, I, I'm about to own everything after reading this proposal. And Saini, give me more information. So we have talked about the negative 
and the positive and the income revenues now let's talk about what can in future disney can do so first of all uh, which we can talk is disney plus because they are focusing on it so the strategy of uh, releasing episodes weekly by weekly is very good because it keeps disney in the con- in trend for 8 weeks of the series of 8 episodes like minimum for 8 weeks uh, everywhere on instagram youtube people must be talking about the series and also the fans uh, of star wars marvel have been so much inspired and persuaded for to get the subscription for disney plus and help people and like share with people to buy it we can see an example of a youtube video called super super where the person is promoting disney plus even though he is not getting sponsors he is promoting promoting because he wants the audience's marvel fan base to watch the video but one suggestion which i can tell disney is to dub the movie series and obviously with the ex- external original content so that the people in india who really like the hindi movies and because of the hindi movies only this big marvel fan base has been created if disney wants to extend this fan fan base they must dub the movies at least in hindi not in telugu or tamil but if they can then it will be very nice Also, now other point which can be looked at the positive side of Disney is that the capacity of Disney World, which is getting increased day by day, all of this is just a positive sign for for the future. Sorry, for <laughs> so the Marvel Sony contract of for Spider Man is also nice for MCU and the growth of the character. When Spider Man is connected to MCU, till people would give money to for a particular movie. For the rest movie, the money would go to Disney. Like if they watch Spider Man Homecoming, the money will go to uh, Sony. But if they watch End Game, the money will go to Disney. The ways in which Disney can expand the their uh empire which they have already created is very good but the main key element is to make the audience uh, satisfied with the movies or anything which they are bringing the audience has to satisfy because audience is the key to win it now the other tip which i would like to give disney or mickey mouse is the collaboration effect like collaboration is very very important the fat food change like uh, i mean not fat food i mean fast food chain is very good publicity for movies or anything which disney creates but disney has been open to only fast food chains and it has been done any collaboration past years that big but this one idea which i can give to disney mickey disney's mouse that open theme restaurants where disney parks aren't being open or haven't been made like india china uh, not china russia europe certain countries in europe they don't have to go come to paris for every single thing they can just have a theme restaurant to eat in their own country and make it a chain like if you have a star wars they create a death star death star uh, restaurant because obviously you can't have death star in galaxy's edge because galaxy edge has different theme and death star restaurant would have different theme but death star restaurant can alone be a good unique attraction look at the graphs where star wars is more likely and then make it in san francisco new york or anywhere Theme restaurants are very good. Look at the Planet Hollywood and don't make mistakes like Planet Hollywood. And now let's come out the collaboration or selling their chain to uh, countries so that uh, the Disney can be more, more, more diverse. Just like Disney and Me. Disney and Me was a store, a chain which was brought by Disney, not brought by this, like which was sold by Disney to Indian corp, uh, to uh, DLF, uh, DLF Indian company, so that they can bring Disney stores in India, exclusive content of Disney to India, but not directly from a Disney store, but from a Disney licensed store, which was Disney and Me. In 2018, it opened and it was a huge success. Even I bought stuff from Rally. And not only that, they were providing. some exclusive merchandise to disney and me which weren't getting provided to other stores like hamleys and all which were selling same stuff and also the key thing is they were only selling disney stuff so more collaboration more thinking in this idea the chain works will make disney to ha- at least have 60 to 70% of the entertainment market like they already have but more of it Oh wait! I have also one more idea. Why can't I just buy some construction site and some upbringing brands? <laughs> sure, you can buy anything, but 
but you need to understand this first of all listen to fans and them then understand what they love what they want from you don't be uh, what to say stiff or selfish that if you said this you will do that just like the secret trilogy don't be like ryan johnson who ruined everything for just a sh- moment of shock tell me now well, who will give you more profit the young generation the ones who really don't care about star wars they just watch it as one time watch or the collectors which collect everything which watch star wars 10 to 12 times daily the golden apple for disney is to uh, let other companies uh, the big companies eat the small companies so that disney is just waiting in his honeycomb and till that time the market is cleared only one company is left and those companies really need to survive that's why they are eating they have only one option which is, for, is to eat they know if they are eating this thing they will still ruin everything they are just making their hard, uh, way much more harder but if they don't eat the companies then companies will just fight in between themselves because Disney is such a giant but these companies Universal, Warner Bros all need money on daily basis to make themselves feed right that's right if anything happens to billionaires like Microsoft around the Indian this pandemic nothing happened but the normal person who used to work in jobs much happened to them that's the difference Disney and other whatever companies you know so let's look at the example of Comcast Comcast or whatever I don't need to pronounce it Properly, I guess. Okay, so never mind. So remember the Fox merger which was about to happen, but then how they were like an obstacle. No, we will give more money. We will give more money. But then again, in the end, he was like, <laughs> Mouser, Mouser, do you want more money? <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. And that was a good mimicry of Mickey Mouse because no one can do anything fox was mine it was always mine because they sold they stole the character rights of x-men and all fine 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 mickey mouse you must have the thing right that in the right in your head that whatever i am doing is just a revolutionary change for the cat and mouse game i'm just trying to explain the entertainment audience about what they can do or how can they interpret the following war which is happening between the companies i'm not here to just give you a whole idea you're not giving me millions or billions of dollars to tell you idea i'm just here to just tell people and get my entertainment uh, idea i'm not gonna like uh, write a whole a to z proposal to you for and uh, making you and uh, do all your moves and if the, i would have written then you would have been exposed right mickey mouse musa musa what do you mean i shall throw my clubhouse on you hey goofy give my clubhouse ah uh, guys, I guess I need to buy. I need to cut. Say bye, guys. This was the first episode of business. And see you guys soon. Yeah, sure. Bye.